on the Bob Mills Weather Center, Oklahoma weather expert, Jed Castle. Jed, you can see that smoke on the radar even. Yeah, dialing up the radar here, taking us back to about 345 when about that fire got started and when it really got going, you can see the smoke kind of billowing up from that fire and spreading up across Lake Overholzer. So if you live on the west sides of Oklahoma City from Rockwell near I-40, just north of there, south of Route 66 over toward Lake Overholzer, you can be smelling that smoke and probably are seeing that haziness to the sky because pretty big fire there causing some smoky conditions there on the west sides of the city. Other story, what's the heat? Well, let's talk about heat related deaths because uh, heat sometimes thought of as that big of a deal. But if you look at the number of US uh, related deaths each year, we average about 138 due to heat. Okay, so 138 due to heat, flooding is 88. And then tornadoes is 68. I know tornadoes are the most fascinating, the most picturesque, and really they're cool to see, but they're actually not as dangerous as the heat. So I want you to know heat type weather is dangerous. So make sure you're prepared for that. Heat related ailments, certainly possible, all the way to the point of heat stroke and even death. So you got to really pay attention and make sure you're, you're change your plans a bit. Make sure you're ready to go as that heat builds across parts of Oklahoma today. Southern, southeast Oklahoma, again today, 105 to 110, and then it builds up into central, north central Oklahoma on Friday in that 105 to 110 range. Also, this is the dog days of summer. That's where we have light winds, those hot, hazy, humid conditions. We have an inversion above us, high pressure sets in, that kind of locks in that lower level. And so if you have pollutants over populated areas or city areas, that air is just not moving at all. So if it stays over a concentrated area with high population, it creates those smoggy kind of conditions. So the ozone is an issue today. It's going to be in the unhealthy range from central Oklahoma up into the Tulsa area, also down around Lawton. So make sure you're not using those two cycle engines. Now that used to be a, a, an issue, but a lot of folks don't have electric lawnmowers and weed eaters and so they can go out and use those so if you're a, a lawnmower don't be surprised if those folks out there trying to cut the grass but again two cycle engines your gas powered engines keep those in the garage okay 77 right now south to east winds at seven miles per hour live view there from our tegris cam bright sunshine just a hazy hot day today 101 coming up here for today light southeast winds we're currently in the upper 60s in spots most of us though are in the 70s even upper 70s right now from oklahoma city are more on toward clinton and the woodward area so warm start this morning high pressure there it is this that heat dome kind of ranges from the rockies and starts to slide back out in the plains going into next week so with this map that you're seeing here i'm just going to run, run it continuously from where we're at right now and this is not Sunday. This is a week from Sunday. So the pattern setting up the jet, uh, jet stream is way up toward north. So it's going to be up across the northern parts of the country up to near Canada and below that high pressure. The high pressure area presses down the atmosphere and allows it to heat on up. So we're going to be in an extended period of some very hot weather that's going to last not just today, not just tomorrow, but all the way through the end of that nine days. So we talk about these heat related issues. Well, these kind of patterns set up and they make it really tough on us. So make sure you're prepared. The heat's going to be the story. 90s, 100s. Uh, protect your pets. Make sure the elderly are safe. Make sure they've got their air conditioning set properly. And call them a check on them. Make sure they're doing okay. 90s, 100s, four to highs tomorrow. So we'll keep it going and we'll hover in the 100s Saturday, Sunday on into next week. No signs right now of anything well below 100. We may dip to 99 a few of those days, but right now most days are at 100 or above. Hottest days will be coming next Tuesday, Wednesday, getting up to near 105 just to show you the records 109, so near record setting heat coming away next week.